KLST, your weather authority, sponsored by CC Roofing. Good evening, Concho Valley. I'm meteorologist Dr. Athena Masson, and we are right back up to above average temperatures for today, reaching up to a high of 97 earlier this afternoon. Record set back in 1933 at 109 degrees. We're going to start rivaling these temperatures in the next few days. Looking out towards the west, a beautiful night, mostly clear sky, so if you are a stargazer, head on out, but beware. We are looking at humidity slowly starting to rise up, along with those temperatures compared to yesterday. Pretty muggy out there right now at 84 degrees, feeling much closer to 90 degrees. But those cool northeasterly winds at six miles per hour, kind of keeping us a little bit on the cool side, but not by much. Temperatures across much of the Concho Valley in the 80s, 85 for San Angelo, a little bit warmer out towards Robert Lee at 87 degrees. Big Lake, you are at 79 degrees at this time. Temperature change compared to yesterday, though. We are still fairly warm across the Concho Valley compared to 24 hours ago. About 5 to 10 degrees of a difference. 6 degrees warmer in San Angelo. Robert Lee, you are the hot spot for tonight. 7 degrees compared to what we saw yesterday. Texas satellite and radar. Well, once again, we are surrounded on both sides by rain. Outwards to our west, we have this trough of low pressure. And then we are still dealing with now tropical depression, Barry. It is now slowly pushing off Louisiana and entering Arkansas. But notice all of this rain. Lots of rain, not only continuing for Louisiana and Mississippi, but also spreading out towards Tennessee and entering into Arkansas. But let's zoom a little bit closer into the Concho Valley because notice these showers right here. Those are the extreme outer bands of Tropical Depression Barry, giving us a little bit of cooling showers towards Mason and Kimball County tonight. These could last for a few more hours, and we could see a return of them by tomorrow. As the night progresses, lots of clear skies by 4:30. If you are outside stargazing, admiring the moon that will be setting at that time. By 9 a.m., in time for our morning commute, lots of clear skies, a few little clouds within the atmosphere, but there is our cooling rain once again in isolated form by around 2 o'clock p.m. A couple of our eastern counties, maybe even making it into our central counties, we could see a couple of cooling rain showers. Five day temperature trend, though, it is not about the rain, it is unfortunately about those above average temperatures. So tomorrow, 98 degrees, three degrees above average for this time of the year. Tuesday, we could very well reach 100 degrees. And then Wednesday, 100. Thursday, 101. Friday, 101. And continuing Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. It is just going to continue for several days. A little bit more on Tropical Depression Barry. Looking at the Tropical Tracker right now, winds have died down considerably now at 35 miles per hour, but still slowly moving to the north at 9 miles per hour. Check out this huge swath of rain, though. And a little bit of a fun fact here. It is not a fully tropical storm anymore. It is undergoing what's known as extratropical transition. So as a hurricane moves ashore, it does try to adapt to its environment and it turns into a mid-latitude cyclone. And what happens, most of that rain shifts to the east side of the storm. So you'll see a whole bunch of precipitation for Alabama, Mississippi, upwards towards Tennessee, but it's not fully gone on the west side. On the west side, all those tropical storm, tropical depression winds, they shift all the way to the west side of the center of low pressure. So Dallas-Fort Worth, you may be getting some gusty winds at times. Check your flight tomorrow, especially if you are heading out of the airport. For tonight, 70 degrees, pleasant evening for the most part, mostly clear skies, little lingering showers here and there, mostly for our eastern counties. And tomorrow is Monday. Treat yourself because no one wants to go back to work. It will be hot, though. 98 degrees, fairly warm, especially with those westerly winds. Seven day forecast lots of sunshine, less rain chances, and just hot, hot, hot across the board, triple digits. And now going back to the weather trivia question what is the deadliest hurricane in U.S. history? Victor, what do you think? I'm going to say Galveston 1900. I am very proud of you. I am very proud of this whole station, really, because everyone <laughs> said Galveston hurricane. You are correct. And a little bit more about this. It was the deadliest natural disaster in U.S. history and the fourth deadliest Atlantic hurricane overall. Estimated between six to 10,000 fatalities. Every dwelling in Galveston suffered some degree of damage. It was that horrible. I mean, take a look at that picture that I posted right there. Really, that is what most people woke up to the morning after the storm. No warning were issued, 1900, no satellite, but it was estimated to be at Category 4 strength. Definitely incredible. 
All right. Thank you very much, Athena. And still to come in sports, the Astros and Rangers wrapped up their series today. Ryan will have the highlights.